Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about going vegan for beginners. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, and turn on the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Veganism is the abstaining from the use of animal products, particularly in diet. Also, it rejects the commodity status of animals. There are many distinctions of veganism. One is being a dietary vegan. In this form of veganism, you avoid any animal meat, eggs, and any other animal byproducts that come from animals. There are also ethical vegans, which follow the dietary vegan way of avoiding meat and eggs and any animal byproduct, but this also transfers into their life in other ways, such as protecting animal rights and the use of cosmetics, or anything that's similar in manufacturing or industry. Another term would be environmental vegans. Now this type of vegan avoids animal products because they believe it's unsustainable for the environment the way these items are produced and it's very damaging to the environment so they do not want to interact in this cycle. The history of veganism is very cool. Donald Watson coined the term vegan in 1944 when he co-founded the Vegan Society in England. At first, he used it to mean non-dairy vegetarian, but by May 1945, vegans explicitly abstained from eggs, milk, cheese, honey, and butter. From 1951 on, the society defined veganism as the doctrine that man should live life without exploiting animals. Veganism has grown a lot since then, and it exploded heavily in the 2010s, especially the later half. Now there are so many more vegan stores and restaurants available for people wanting to try this lifestyle. There are pros and cons to veganism. Some pros are that you lower your cholesterol and blood pressure, increase your antioxidant intake, promote greater self-control, eat less processed food and more whole foods, and also animals aren't harmed in the food you're eating. Some cons are that it's a radical change, you may have difficulty dining out, it could conflict with a pre-existing medical condition, and you might lose essential vitamins and minerals. Not saying you couldn't make this up using a supplement. With those things being said, it's best to consult a dietitian or nutritionist before you start a vegan lifestyle, just to make sure it's not going to conflict with anything that's going on in your life. Also, there are so many great vegan YouTubers out there that might be helpful along the journey. They can show you recipes you can make and how to sort of adapt your lifestyle to the vegan way of living. As one of my favorite vegan YouTubers said, it's better to be more plant-based than not. You don't have to do it right all the time. I have a quick question. Are you going to adopt a more vegan-like lifestyle? Let me know in the comments below by writing fighter. I myself am not vegan, but I try to lead a more plant-based lifestyle. There are so many YouTubers I watch that show me the transition may be easier than I thought. There's things I can replace in my life such as cheese that will be just as good as the original. This lifestyle seems really great because you're helping the environment by cutting down on meat production and you become a more conscious eater and it's better for your health. For me, I would have to learn how to work with alternatives to dairy products like ice cream and cheese because I really do like those. I already drink plant-based milk so that would be very easy for me to do. These are just things I have to look into but this is definitely something I want to pursue. This is something I definitely want to do. I feel like I would just have to be willing to be open-minded about these alternatives and I think I can do that. Do I want everyone to become vegan though? It is the same thing as would I like everyone to be single-use plastic free. Of course I would, but at the same time I cannot tell you what to do and you have to do what's comfortable with you and your health. That's what's the main important thing here and anyone who is a vegan on YouTube or an expert will tell you the same thing. Small steps can change the world and the environment. So do what's best for you in a way that's helpful and sustainable for the environment. And that's always best. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next Friday, I'm going to discuss the fishing industry. If you'd like to learn about microplastic facts, click the video right here. Lastly, take a picture of the screen right now and I'll shout you out on social media. Just tag me on Instagram or Twitter. Lastly, if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, and share it with someone who could benefit. Let's make the world a better place.